Let's factor the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10. And we use these guidelines here to help us do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need a skeleton equation. And this is our skeleton equation right here. Once we have that skeleton equation, we can add the sides. So we have a positive and a positive. If all the terms are positive, we're just going to put positives in our skeleton equation like this. Next, we need to find all the factors for the last term. That's the 10 here. And they should add up to that middle term, 7. So if you think about 10, 1 times 10, that equals 10. But 1 and 10 can't have those add up to 7. 2 times 5, that equals 10. And 2 times 5, that equals 7. So if we put a 2 here and a 5 here, we have our 2 and our 5. That gives us 7. We're done. We factored the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10. We should check our work, though, with the FOIL method. We're going to multiply the first terms, the outside terms, inside, and last. That gives us, and we can combine these terms right here to get, and this is the same thing as we started with. So we've done this correctly. We've correctly factored the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10. Let's quickly find the values for x that will make this side of the equation equal 0. So we'll have 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. We say x plus 2 equals 0, so x would equal a negative 2. x plus 5 equals 0. x equals negative 5. If you put negative 2 in for x and you do the math, this whole side, it equals 0. Likewise, if you put negative 5 in for x and you do the math, all of this here equals 0. So these are correct. If you use the quadratic equation, you'd get these same numbers right here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10. Thanks for watching.